Hi everyone, AI4QT back again. Uh, I'm doing a short video right now because I'm, I'm actually doing it for a colleague of mine that uh, works out of Stennis, Stennis Space Center in Mississippi, and he and I are co-presenting uh, a workshop tomorrow for a group of teachers near Hattiesburg. But uh, he will be on site and I will be off site here at the home QTH. And I will be presenting about uh, the Hubble Space Telescope and a little basics of, of astronomy. And the topic uh, within the presentation will be uh, about the Doppler effect. Now, you all are familiar with the Doppler effect because, uh, you know, when you're uh, hearing a siren from an ambulance or something, it's a higher pitch as the ambulance uh, moves towards you, but then the uh, pitch uh, becomes deeper and become, it actually becomes a lower frequency, uh, and therefore there's a difference in sound as the ambulance moves towards you. It's a higher pitch moving away from you it's a lower pitch and it's the same idea for astronomy when astronomers study uh, the electromagnetic spectrum as it pertains to uh, well for light for example if a light from a, from a moving star or galaxy is moving towards us uh, the light is shifted to a higher frequency which is uh, blue and if it's moving away from us or receding these stars or galaxies will be shifting their light towards the uh, red end of the spectrum which is actually longer or lower so that's how we de we can actually determine uh, those stars moving away from us and galaxies moving away from us as opposed to those few that are moving towards us and uh, uh, now, I have to use sound because I, I don't know how I would do this with light, but uh, the activity that I use would be analogous to light waves. And I used to have a Doppler uh, tool that I would use. It would basically be like a buzzer and a, a wiffle ball with a string attached, and I would troll it around, and you could actually uh, detect the, the, the change of pitch of the noise. Well, I had to improvise very quickly, so I realized that I had a micro a recorder, a digital micro recorder, and I thought about using my iPhone, but uh, I don't think I would want to do that. But uh, I, I just want to show you how well this does work. Now, I did have a lanyard that I attached to it uh, through the little, little hole in the uh, mic uh, through the recorder itself. So uh, listen how well this, uh, this does work. Now, what I did do, I had to uh, kind of into the mic uh, for a few moments to get the effect that I needed. And as I twirl this around, as the uh, recorder comes towards the mic of the camera, uh, you will hear a higher pitch, and as it moves away, it will be a lower pitch. So uh, let's see. Here we go. So you should be hearing it. So uh, the, the same principle here works for light as well. So just a little instructional tool if you ever have to uh, go and present something uh, with uh, radio waves. Uh, hey, there you go. If you're doing any type of activity for a school group or something and you want to illustrate the Doppler effect without having them witness uh, ambulance drive by. Anyway, 73 to you. <laughs> 